The four-step method to high performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high performance traders are both free downloads. The four-step method for high performance trading is about developing the mindset and the routines to increase your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in a live trading environment. Constant progress. Seven-step daily routine for high performance traders is an audio program download designed to help traders bulletproof their day-to-day habits, discipline, and develop a winning mindset. Again, the link is in the description box below. They're free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading Mindset Reset. It's Thursday, day two on the back side of the week. Today, we're going to talk about a couple of topics, specifically answer some questions. But today, we're going to discuss what do well engineered best trade setups look like on the day themselves. So, we talk about three day setups in the playbook. We have three session setups. So, a three day setup will culminate on a three session setup with a well engineered chart on the day in the session that you're trading. There'll be one of two types. We'll have pump and dump or dump and pump type of templates on the day themselves. Now we talk about signal days and I mentioned to a trader today that the signal days are what alerts us to a potential best trade candidate instrument. But how does the instrument set up on the day? We have several examples in the playbook and in the course and we've put videos, there are, there are videos on the playlist that go over three session setups as well as three day setups. You hear me say the phrase over and over again, what setup are you hunting? So if you're looking for specific templates, then it's not a question of how would I trade this? It's you already know what you're looking for and it's rinse and repeat to execute on the day in the session that you're trading a well-engineered pump and dump or dump and pump template. Day one, day two, day three, session one, session two, session three in Asia, London, or New York. We'll look at a couple of examples for each one of these sessions for pump and dump and dump and pump templates. We can have either trend trades, reversal trades, or depending on the session and the day of the week in the template, we may be in a range bound session opportunity, a session hammer, or we can also have monkey hammer opportunities that take out one side of the week and go clearly to the other and vice versa. We're looking at the pound yen. It's Tuesday day two on the front side of a week. Friday's close was closed in breakout. We have our high of our week in place. Uh, Monday has traded slightly above there, but closed back in range, but we have a three session setup. Uh, Asia has put in the high of the, the day, the new week. London's put in our peak formation just at Friday's high of week level. And then the U.S. session has put in our low of the day level, our peak formation low of the day. And as I explained to traders, these high and low of the day levels are made by session peak formations. Now, it's a very simple uh, process. If we're trading Asia, we're looking at a potential three session setup, but we're using our other time frame boundaries as potential reference points for a pump and dump or dump and pump template. And this is an excellent example of an Asian opportunity. Uh, day two, front side of the week, no major red news on the schedule. Session pumps from the low of day level. That's our first level. The market has begun its rise, pumps up into the high of the week level before engulfing and coiling sideways underneath of that trapped volume up high. Now, and we break down collapsing to the low of day level. A pump and dump template in Asia on day two, pumping up into the high of the week level, engulfing, dropping slowly, and then collapsing a session hammer trade for the Asian session, a pump and dump template. This is one example of a well-engineered template. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation, starting in level one, pumping up before the session begins, pumping up again, and pumping third time up into the third level, high week level, and engulfing a one bar stop for a parabolic collapse in session one on day two on the pound yen. You should have five or six different variations of each type of pump and dump and dump and pump templates if you're trading the Asian session, or if you're trading the London session, and we'll look at those in a moment, or the New York session. Then of course we can have our three day setups that can offer us high week, low week, reversal, or trend trade opportunities. 
We're looking at gold. This is a recent example. On Monday, we have peak formation low made in the U.S. session, a peak formation high made in the U.S. session on Friday. That market closed in breakout. We opened with a small gap Monday morning, dumping down into the open of our Asian session. Hour one, hour two, hour three begins the parabolic reversal, a dump and pump template in a market that closed in breakout. It opened on a gap, creeping trend down, hour one, hour two, an example of a third hour reversal for a parabolic explosive dump and pump template. Now again, there's going to be different variations of dump and pump or pump and dump. And if you're trading an instrument that doesn't have the same volatility, find an example of when it does have a fantastic opportunity in that session. And if not, find pairs that are offering you potentially better candidates as dump and pump or pump and dump opportunities. Market opened again on the gap, most common day for a market to open on a gap, being patient, allowing this market to set up. We have our peak formation low inside of our low of day level, a peak formation high, giving us our high of day level in a market that closed in breakout. In this example, we have three levels of 50 that the market has dropped from the high of day level within a 100 pip box. So again, the US session has put a peak formation low inside of the low of day level. We're in a new 100 pip box. We've dropped three levels, a dump and pump parabolic opportunity on Monday. And I'll put the PDFs of these charts in the course section area for reference uh, to give you an idea of building your muscle memory with well-engineered templates. Just to go back to the uh, first example on the pound yen, just reinforcing simple understanding Zero thinking, zero stress, zero emotion, a one bar stop on a well-engineered template and virtually zero management when you know exactly what you're looking for. We're not trying to guess. We're looking for the best well-engineered templates on the day in the session that we're trading. No matter what the instrument, how has price behaved on the day? We can get a signal day, but how does price behave into our timing window at the levels and the behavior of price. Uh, virtually, once we're in this trade, you'll notice we should be showing profit almost immediately, and that trade should move aggressively toward its target. This is a pump and dump template with the Japanese Jena market that put in a peak formation low, a lower low, before closing in breakout on the downside. So it's broken out, it's closed in breakout. We have a market that pumped up above our US session window before dumping down and closing in breakout. So we have lower lows and that market pumps up into our Asian session window before consolidating, coiling sideways and breaking down parabolically on day three, Wednesday day three, on the front side of the week for a pump and dump template. Understanding that our low of day made in the U.S. window prior to the close is in a lower box and we have now pumped up into the third level underneath major round numbers where the last peak formation was put in place. This is like a day zero template but over three sessions. Page 84 in the playbook typically is a three day setup but we can have the same type of parabolic three session setups build on that same premise. Now these are session trades. This is the first session of the new day. This is a, a, an ain't coming back for the session, but we want to be locking in the money. As we can see, this is day three blowing off at the low of week level before reversing and coming back inside. But the Asian session pump and dump well-engineered template for a session hammer opportunity. Now we're looking at the London session. So we have our first example is the Japanese yen. Uh, this is Friday. We have a market that's made higher highs and this higher high has now given us the high of week level as we head into Friday, the closing range of the week. This market closed in breakout. We have a higher peak formation low made in the US session that Asia dumps down into before pulling back above closing price level. We've had three levels of drop down into that peak formation low before pulling back inside. This is a parabolic coil. Now, if we use our universal entry criteria from page 29 in the playbook, page 29 in the playbook, basic model for trade entries, we have a dump and pump parabolic coil for a range expansion opportunity, a very scalable, sizable range expansion opportunity on free cash Friday. Now, 
this chart, this chart template, I want traders to understand this is the type of templates that we want to be hunting. We're not trying to guess or trade markets. We're looking for well-engineered templates that are scalable in size. So as opposed to hunting something because it's moving and I want to catch a trade, I'm hunting specific templates in the timing window in the session that I'm trading on the days of the week in the templates. Monday's the opening range. Tuesday, day two typically expands the range. Wednesday is the midpoint range of the week and resets to day one. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three. And then Wednesday's day one on the back side of the week. Day two is Thursday. We can get range reversal and range expansion trades. And on day one, day two, day three templates for free cash Friday, we can get a closing range for either a trend trade or a reversal trade. Reinforcing the importance of this video is building your muscle memory on the best templates, not trying to figure out what a market's going to do or have a science project each day trying to catch a move. Which ones are going to offer me the best scalable parabolic opportunities that rinse and repeat on any instrument? We have a pump and dump template in the London window, a market that was a day one runner on Monday. You've heard me use the phrase, don't counter trend a day one runner, a market that's broken out, gone parabolic, and continues to stay in breakout, closing in breakout. We break out again in the Asian session before making lower lows. We have our volume trapped up high from the US, Asia, and into the London window, pumping up into the London open before coiling and dumping down in the third hour. Again, our universal entry criteria, simple, easy model for entering into a trade or scaling into for a parabolic collapse back into the high of day breakout level from the day one runner. So again, one of our signals that we can hunt for opportunities on the front side or back side are markets that close in breakout, a very well-engineered template for a day one runner coiling sideways and the dump we see no major red news on the calendar in this session we're looking at the nasdaq 100 uh, monday tuesday that's from this week we had a day one runner very similar to what we just saw on our euro yen monday pump day broke out kept climbing and closing in breakout this market coiled sideways made a lower low so we have our initial asian range it's broken lower and then pumped back up into closing price level coiling into our third hour for the parabolic dump scalable opportunity back into breakout traders you'll notice the new york open opened up outside of the range opened up high a pump consolidation coil and dump on day two a day one runner consolidation you notice I, I like to project closing price across and we can see three peak formations above that level a nice rectangle again classical charting simple simple peter brandt uh, schaubacher edwards and mcgee a 200 percent range expansion as a, pot a potential target an acb trade setup opportunity on day two the front side of the week a day one runner closing in breakout so understand what a well-engineered, scalable, parabolic trade setup looks like. We're looking at the euro in the U.S. window. We had an inside day on Friday as our signal day. The market dumps down into the closing price from Thursday. That was our lowest closing price of the week before coiling sideways and breaking through the high of day level and making a higher high before pulling back. Now understand an inside day is a signal day. Inside day, page 69 in the playbook. It's a signal day for false break reversal opportunities, trend trades. When we start a new week, if a market breaks out of an inside day and pulls back and coils sideways, we now have a market that is potentially building for an explosive move. An inside day itself is a potential coil depending on where it shows up in the weekly template. We've had the lowest close of the week, an inside day, we've broken out and we've pulled back into the breakout level into the open of our US session. And then when our US window opens, we make a higher high. Higher highs are the setup for the dump and pump template. We dump back down to closing price and coil sideways into the New York open for an explosive 
range expansion opportunity. A simple way for projecting profit targets is 100% expansions of our high low consolidation on top of closing price at the high of day level. We've broken out of the inside day. We now have a 200% range expansion target for a scalable parabolic trade setup opportunity. A very well engineered dump and pump template at the start of our week with a signal day reversal trade on a new timing cycle for a scalable opportunity on the Euro USD. So depending on the session that you're trading, build your muscle memory with 10, 20 of pump and dumps in the session that you're trading of well-engineered templates on any instrument, the same setups, just different instruments, whether they have major red news or they don't have major red news. If we have major red news, we wait till after the news and whether they're trend trade or reversal trade opportunities. I'll repeat this. Easy money-making trading setups are profitable, highly profitable. They repeat. They're scalable in size. They're zero stress, zero emotion. There's no analysis paralysis, no science projects, no hobby fairs. There's no fear of missing out. There's no you only live once mentality or fear of getting in or fear of getting out. Remember, I talk about this. Uh, most traders, they, they try to trade markets all the time. They, do, they actually don't have rinse and repeat setups that they hunt. They just want to look for something that's up high or down low and, and catch the move. It's not scalable. They overtrade. They get emotional. They get impulsive. They're just trying to trade markets. Rinse and repeat setups show up again and again and again in the session that you're trading. Have a basket. Sift through, look for the best well-engineered templates, signal days. Is this a session nail and bail or is it a scalable five-star opportunity for a three-day template? Keep reinforcing this behavior of the trader is the number one reason most traders fail. If you execute the same setups over and over again, how can you possibly mess that up? If I'm hunting these type of templates on specific days of the week on certain instruments, how can I mess this trade up? if I look for the same setup when it occurs. Now contrast that with this type of chart. How can this possibly compare to a well-engineered template? Take a look at this chart. How is this scalable? Whether you catch a move or you grab some pips, how does that compare to this template? Now I'm cherry picking because these are the setups that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for garbage charts. When you trade these type of templates, on certain days of the week, on certain instruments, and they rinse and repeat, why wouldn't you want to just hunt out these setups and scale into them rather than trying to trade a garbage market? You make money on the setups and the days that it's easy to make money on. Master your best trade setup candidates, the setups, the timing window, and be patient and be willing to wait for those rather than trying to trade a science project. When people only trade one market, they often can get caught in markets like this and they're trying to trade and catch moves when this is a hard way to scale up size into any of these markets. And this could be a day when a trader gets caught into something and they do damage or they go on tilt and they become irrational, emotional, and they engage in impulsive, destructive behavior and they blow out all the good results they get when they stick to easy money-making trade setups. They're easy parabolic trades in every session. If you're patient and you have a basket that you can reflect through five or six instruments and just look for the easy money making trade setups. Keep it simple traders. Focus on building your muscle memory on the best templates in the session that you're trading. Look for signal days. Look for markets that close and break out. Keep it simple. And these markets should explode when they're set up properly and their best trade candidates. Keep it simple. Keep building your muscle memory 1% better every single day. Keep it going and keep it growing. And may the markets go with you.